Okay, this tutorial is, uh, we're going to step back. We've been doing a lot of stuff with uh, software development lately, and I haven't really done anything on Blender, so I thought I'd take a break from what we've been doing and go over something in Blender. I am using Blender 2.67. That's the most current at the time recording this, although this video may not be posted for a couple of months based on uh, my time tables, my time schedule. Um, so there might be a newer version out by the time this comes out, but uh, uh, if you're working with a 2.6, uh, uh, 2.67 or newer, this should work. So I'm going to delete the default cube. I'm going to hit uh, 1 to go into front view, control, alt, number pad 0 to bring the camera to that. Uh, and I'm going to shift A, add in a curve circle, which right there, we'll move that down here for a second. And I'm going to shift A and I'm going to add a path. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. G to grab some of these points, and I'm just going to make a little uh, zigzag line here. I'm going to hit E to extrude, make this go off this way. Okay, so this is the path that our vine is going to follow. Uh, and this is going to represent the, uh, the shape of that vine. So with our path selected, I'm going to go up to our path tool over here. Make sure 3D is on, and we're going to choose under bevel object underneath geometry. Click there and choose the uh, circle that we've created. And there we go. Now the shape of the circle is now following that path. So if you wanted to create a big tube, there you go. Um, but we're looking for more of a vine shape here. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to choose under the taper object, and I'm going to choose a circle as well. And now we have a nice little tapered uh, vine shape. Um, you can adjust the size of that by choosing your circle here and scaling it up. So you can make something like that, kind of like an octopus arm. So there we go, we can hit F12. Now you can see what it looks like. It's a little dark because of the lighting's in the background. Real quick, just to make this scene a little bit nicer, I'm going to give us a black background. I'm going to choose our object here. I'm going to make it green like a vine. A little bit darker. Okay. Hit F12 again once again. It's still really dark. That's mainly due because our light is in the background here, which I'm actually going to leave that uh, bright light in the background as a backlight. But I'm going to Shift D to clone it. Move this over here and move it down here. And lower its energy from 1 to 0 0.2. I think will look good. We'll hit F12 now. So there we go. We have this vine coming out or you could be making an octopus arm or something like that um, but that's just how it looks now let's animate it uh, let's say we want it to be growing uh, out from the side of the screen so we're going to select our path object again I'm going to choose uh, the path uh, the data object uh, tab little path icon there and um, down here we have our start bevel factor and end bevel factor. If we move our start you can see that we can change where it starts and if we take the end we can change where it ends. So you can make it grow from either direction. Now you'll notice uh, if you go like this that the end caps are hollow so you can see inside that. If you don't want to be able to see inside our tube here you can click fill caps and you can see now that that is filled as opposed to with it off it would look like that. Uh, I'm going to do filled but it doesn't really matter because the next thing I'm going to choose is map taper which will make it tapered all the way to the end. Once again this is all depends on what you're doing with your project. Um, so there we go we got a vine growing but we haven't actually animated it yet. I'm manually doing it here. We're just going to set some key frames uh, luckily, pretty much everything in Blender that has a value can have keyframes set to it. So I'm at frame one of my animation here. I'm going to do the start bevel all the way up so that it's gone. I'm going to hit I, oh, sorry, hover over he this object, uh, our little start bevel bar, and hit I, and that sets a keyframe uh, right there. I'm going to hit shift and up arrow probably like three times, uh, which will bring us to frame 31. Um, and uh, so we're 30 frames in, and uh, if you're doing 30 frames a second, that would be one second of animation. So once again, uh, do it according to your project. I'm going to move this back down, and hovering once again over 
our start bevel factor here. I'm going to hit I to set another keyframe. So now, if I go back to our first frame by hitting Shift and left arrow, I can hit Alt A to watch our animation. Since again, that's it growing out. Uh, right now, my project's 250 frames. I can set that. I'll set that to 50 so we get a little loop action here better. So you can see it growing. And of course, you can go the other way. You can set more keyframes if you like. Uh, but that's a very simple vine growing, and you can definitely do a whole lot more with this. And uh, that's a 3D vine. Um, so if I hit F12, obviously it's 3D, it looks neat. But uh, if you want it to just be a 2D, uh, one thing you could probably do and uh, is choose your object here and choose shadeless. And if I hit F12 now, now you've got like a 2D object. So you can make some neat designs of things growing in and out. I'm going to shift D and rotate that and hit F12. So I can have these growing like so. And if I was to render that image out, I've got that. So, you know, if you want to make it 2D, whatever you want to be, uh, have a 2D appearance to it, uh, just sh set its uh, material to shadeless. Um, so you can do some neat backgrounds or animations like that, or make a real complex 3D scene with, um, with the vines growing out. Anyway, I thought that was just a little bit change from the videos I've been doing recently. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's just a little quick tutorial, uh, very simple. And uh, I hope that you have a great day. Be sure to visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And again, I hope that you have a great day.